Hi, this is Tracy Rich from Judaism 101, JEWFAQ.org. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Hebrew alphabet, a sort of Hebrew primer. I'll run through each letter in the alphabet and introduce a useful word that includes that letter to illustrate its pronunciation. Let's get started. The first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Aleph. Aleph is easy to pronounce. It's silent. Aleph is the first letter in the Hebrew word Amen. Note that Aleph is on the right side of the word. Hebrew is written from right to left. The ah sound that you hear at the beginning of the word Amen doesn't come from the Aleph. It comes from the vowel underneath it. Aleph is silent. The second letter in the Hebrew alphabet is Bet. Bet makes two different sounds. B as in boy, or V as in victory. Fortunately, the rabbis came up with a trick to tell us how to pronounce bet. If there's a dot inside the bet, it's pronounced as in boy. If there's no dot, it's pronounced as in victory. Bet with the B sound, with the dot in it, is the first letter in the Hebrew word baruch, which is the first word of any blessing. Bet with the victory sound, sometimes called vet, is the last letter in the Hebrew word tov which means good. The third letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Gimel. Gimel makes the sound of the hard G in good or girl, never the soft G in general or bridge. Gimel is the first letter of the Hebrew word Gadol, which means great. Notice that the Gimel in Gadol has a dot in it, but the dot doesn't change the sound. Many letters can have dots in them, but only a few have a different sound when they have a dot. The fourth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Dalet, it makes the sound of D as in door. In fact, the word Dalet means door, and you can see that the letter kind of looks like the outline of a door. Dalet is the first and the last letter in the name David, David, the great king of Israel. Note that the first Dalet has a dot in it, and the last one doesn't, but they both sound the same, David. The fifth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is He. He makes the sound of H as in hello. Like H in English, He is silent when it appears at the end of a word. He is the first and last letter of the word Haggadah, the book we read at Passover Seder, what most Americans call a Haggadah. We've already seen all the consonants in this word. He, Gimel, Dalit, and the silent He at the end, Haggadah. The sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Vav. This is a tricky one because it makes three different sounds, V, O, or U. Once again, there are dots that will help you get the right pronunciation, but there are exceptions to the rules of the dots. The exceptions will make more sense after we've covered vowels, so for now, we'll just assume that Vav is following the rules. The rules are, if there's no dot, then it's a V as in victory. If there's a dot in the middle, then it's pronounced U as in Google, or sometimes like the vowel in put, or book. If there's a dot on top, then it's pronounced O as an open. Vav is the first letter of the word ve'imru, a common prayer phrase that means, and let us say, to which the congregation responds, Amen. Ve'imru also ends with a vav, this one in the form that's pronounced U, ve'imru. The O form of vav appears in the word Sukkot, the name of a fall holiday called the Festival of Booths in English. Note that the U form of Vav also appears in the word Sukkot. Next is Zion. Now the name of this letter sounds just like the English word Zion, which is a name for Israel, but that's just a coincidence. In fact, the Hebrew word for what we call Zion in English is Tzion. It doesn't even start with the letter Zion. Zion makes the sound of Z as in zero. Zion is sometimes confused with Vav because they're both simple, narrow letters. You can tell them apart because Zion has this little zigzag, an extension at the back. Vav doesn't have that. Zion is the first letter of the word Zaman, which means time. Either a time of day, like the Zaman for lighting candles or for saying prayers, or a special time, like a holiday. Sukkot is the Zaman Simchatenu, the time of our joy. Passover is Zaman Cherutenu, the time of our freedom. Next is Chet. That's a tricky one to pronounce because we don't have that sound in English. It's a throat clearing sound like the German Ach, or the Scottish Loch, or like you're getting ready to hock a loogie. <laughs> Chet is also tricky because it looks like another letter we've seen, He. It even sounds a little like it. 
You can tell them apart because hay has a hole in it. The line on the left is broken at the top. Chet is the first letter in the word chai, which means lives or living. You may have seen Jewish women wearing a necklace with the chai hanging from it. Next is the letter tet. There are no tricks here. Tet makes a T sound as in tango. Tet is the first letter in the word tov, which means good. We've already seen all the letters in this word. Do you recognize them? There's tet, of course, which we just saw. And then there's a vav with a dot on top, which makes an O sound. Finally, there's a bet with no dot in it. With no dot, it's called vet, and it makes a V sound. Tet, O, vet, tov. If you recognize these letters, tov mode. Very good. The last letter we're going to look at in this first video is yud, the tenth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Yud makes the sound of Y, as in yellow. Sometimes, particularly at the end of words, Yud is part of the preceding vowel, and it doesn't really make its own sound. But don't worry about that now. We'll talk about that when we get to vowels. Yud hovers above the baseline of letters like an apostrophe. No other letter in the Hebrew alphabet does that. Some may go below the baseline, and some go above the top line. But all other letters at least fill the line. That makes Yud easy to recognize. Yud is the first letter of the Hebrew word Yom, which means day, as in Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, or Yom Tov, good day, which is the general term for holidays. So that's the first ten consonants of the Hebrew alphabet. There are twelve more consonants and eleven vowels, which I'll cover in other videos. I'll wrap up by showing you each of the letters we've seen and give you a second look at them, then remind you of what the name and sound of the letter is. You may want to test your memory. I'll give you a second or two to pause the video between each letter and see if you remember the letter and its sound. Aleph, which is silent. Bet, which makes the sound B as in boy. Vet, which makes the sound V as in victory. Gimel, which makes the sound G as in girl or good. Dalit, which makes the sound D as in door. Hey, which makes the sound H as in hello, but is silent at the end of words. Vav, which makes the sound V as in victory. Vav with a dot in the middle, which makes the sound U as in Google, or sometimes the U in put. Vav with a dot on top, which makes the sound O as in open. Zion, which makes the sound Z as in zero. Chet, which makes a sound that doesn't occur in English, but sounds like the German Ach. Tet, which makes the sound T as in tango. Yud, which makes the sound Y as in yellow.